Jamar Chase just wrapped up his second NFL season, already showing he's a top five wide receiver. This side of the field, Jamar Chase with the catch and up the sideline, and there he goes! Jamar Chase to the end zone for the touchdown! So today I'm going to race all of that and make him a zero overall. And the only way he can raise his overall is by scoring touchdowns. Our goal today is to get him to a 99 overall. And considering Jamar Chase can barely run being a zero overall, we're gonna score a lot of touchdowns. Jamar, yes, how did he catch that? Okay, what type of celebration is this? That touchdown was massive because not only did it give us 100 points to spend on upgrades, but it also put us in the lead. And what I forgot to mention is that for every win, we get an additional 50 points to spend on Jamar Chase. So with winning in mind, Joe Burrow had to spread the ball around to his other weapons. Oh my God, Tyler Boyd is wide open. What a big reception. We're already in Jamar Chase territory. But speaking of Jamar Chase, I don't think he was the only zero overall in the team. Tyler Boyd, what is wrong? We would eventually march down the field and inch our way to the four yard line. Oh, it's Jamar Chase time. Indeed, it was Jamar Chase time. <laughs> How is he catching all these passes? He's supposed to be so ass. How is he catching all of these? Now that Jamar Chase has already given us two touchdowns, he would soon show us why he is a zero overall. Okay. That's the Jamar Chase I know. And on the next play, I tried to go back to Jamar Chase, but he was just so slow I couldn't. Jamar, come on. Why are you so slow? I mean, it probably has to do with him being a zero overall, but come on. And on third and 23, I was forced to hit one of our competent wide receivers. Oh, Hayden Hurst. Oh my God, Hayden Hurst. Go, 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 go. Oh my god, we're down at the one. And on the one yard line, I went to Jamar Chase for the hat trick. Oh my god, he's unbelievable. He is insane. And this was essentially how the season opener went as Jamar Chase would put on a clinic, leading the Bengals to their first W of the season. 35 to 30, Joe Burrow with five touchdowns to one interception. Three of them going to Jamar Chase. Jamar Chase with three touchdowns, man. Only 20 yards, but you know what? Good thing this isn't a yards video. It's all about the touchdowns. And with Jamar Chase scoring three touchdowns and the Bengals winning, we would get 350 points to spend on Jamar Chase. And with massive drops coming from Jamar Chase, I knew exactly what to upgrade first. Okay, we're gonna give Jamar Chase 99 catching. There were some bad drops in that game that I did not show. I'm also gonna give him 99 short route running. We're gonna max out his catch in traffic so he can make contested grabs. And with the remaining 50, I put it on awareness. Awareness is such a crucial stat and not many people realize how important it is. So I'm gonna put my remaining 50 on awareness. And hey, just like that, we're 21 overall. Okay, not bad. Only 78 more overalls to go. And with the Bengals heading into Dallas to face the 1-0 Dallas Cowboys, they wouldn't be our only challenge this week. Okay, I'm raising the difficulty to all Madden. Just, I'm gonna try to make it harder on ourselves because it's kind of a stupid idea, I feel like. Already starting this week in the red zone, we get to break in our new Jamar Chase right away. No! Wait, that's not what I had in mind. And with myself being a little concerned about Jamar Chase, I went right back to him and all seemed well. Jamar Chase put us on the four yard line. And then I went right back to him. Jamar Chase. Yes. That 99 catching is looking awesome. But unfortunately for us, the Cowboys would respond. Okay, seven to three. We just need more touchdowns, Jamar. Simple. But to get touchdowns, we would need to be near the red zone. So I would hit Joe Mixon a couple of times and just spread the ball around until it was time to get Jamar Chase in the end zone. Okay, it's officially Jamar time. It is, it is time. But unfortunately for us, the Cowboys defense would make it harder on us. But we would have to spread the ball one more time. Thank you, Tyler Boyd. Oh my God. I didn't think we'd be able to stop. I, I thought we were going to get stopped. And just like that, Tyler Boyd set up an easy alley-oop to Jamar Chase. Easy touchdown, of course. Now that this game would come down to the wire, Jamar Chase's two touchdowns would put us over the top. 21 to 16, Jamar with 43 yards and two touchdowns, giving us 250 points with the additional dub to upgrade him. And although we've upgraded massive stats like catching and short route running, it was evident that Jamar needed more than just those stats to become a elite wide receiver once again. Okay, we're gonna max out his speed, max out his awareness. And with the remaining 100, I maxed out his release. Okay, so now Jamar Chase shouldn't be just clamped into the ground. He should be able to toast his corner with ease. Hey, once again, we doubled our overall. We're 47 now. Not too bad. And with the Bengals now being 2-0 and facing the New York Jets, it was a perfect opponent to stretch our win streak to. Just kidding. Okay, I got greedy. I got greedy. And in fact, no, that was essentially how this game went. Oh my God, dude. This is not good. No matter what we did, the Jets just had an answer for everything. 28 to 21. Zach Wilson didn't even have any touchdowns. W what does he even do? But at least we could take a positive away from this game as Jamar Chase had his best game of the season. 10 receptions, 120 yards, and a tutty. Okay. Yes, You'll love to see it. And because we did not win today's game, we would only have 100 points to upgrade. Honestly, I think we're just going to max out his deep route running. I mean, honestly, at this 
this point. Why not? But unfortunately, that would not take our overall up much. Okay, we did not move much at all. We were still a 48 overall. And with us now facing off against the 0-3 Miami Dolphins, this was a perfect week for a rebound week. There we go, my chain mover. And it wouldn't stop there. Oh my god, he's so slow. Or there. Yes, sir, Uno. It would stop here. Okay, yeah, he could not get any separation at all. I, I don't know why I threw that, so I just did. I panicked. And this would lead to a quick Miami 3. And I didn't want this game to spiral out of control just like the Jets game this past week. So I made sure to find Jamar Chase ASAP. Hopefully we don't throw a pick six. And although we wouldn't throw a pick six, we would throw an interception. Dude, this is literally just like last week. But thankfully for us, Tua was allergic to scoring touchdowns, so it was still a one-score game. There we go, Tyler Boyd. And once again, I would go right back to number 83. Ooh, just like that, we're back in the red zone. And it would ultimately be Jamar Chase that would put us in the end zone. Oh, that deep route running coming in clutch. Jamar Chase with an easy touchdown. And with Tua responding and finally scoring his first touchdown of the game, we had to do our own little responding. Oh, T. Higgins getting involved. Yes, sir. And followed up by a bomb to Tyler Boyd. This was set up a quick and easy Jamar Chase touchdown. Or so I thought. Thankfully, our defense would get a quick stop and our offense would be right back on the field. T. Higgins is balling. I mean, just look at this next play. He is moving the chains. I mean, T. was literally taking over this entire drive. But unfortunately for him, Jamar Chase would have to steal the touchdown. Oh, Jamar Chase at the two-yard line. And with an X-Factor corner, Xavier Howard on him, it wouldn't matter because Jamar Chase would have 99 release. Oh, he charged up Jamar Chase. Easy touchdown. With the defense balling out and holding to it yet again, this would officially be the drive where our offense would take over. Oh, T. Higgins is becoming unstoppable. And we would then feed Jamar Chase, Mr. T. Higgins. We would even find Joe Mixon. Oh, keep going, Joe. Okay. And this would all open up the field for Jamar Chase. Oh, we could have came down with that. And it would only get worse for Jamar from there. Oh my god, the fumbling, it's back. Oh, I thought we were past this. And this game would eventually reach overtime where Joe Burrow and Tyler Boyd would put on a clinic, resulting in a game-winning field goal. 24 to 21, we pick up the dub. Joe Burrow had 515 yards. And it was clearly evident how he got that many yards. C. Higgins with 200 yards. Jamar with 129. Tyler Boyd with 144. What a wide receiver trio. And Jamar Chase would finish with two touchdowns, giving us 250 points to spend. And considering Jamar Chase almost lost us the game with his fumbling, yeah, we're gonna max out his carrying 100%. Now, we then max out a spectacular catch and put the remaining on medium route running. Just like that, we're in 94 overall. This next game, we should get it. And with this facing off against the 3-1 and one divisional rival Baltimore Ravens, it was sure gonna be hard for Jamar Chase to have a master class, right? Well, I guess I was wrong. Oh, Jamar Chase torched him! Oh my god! That was too easy. And although the Ravens would respond with a seven of their own, it wouldn't matter. Oh, Jamar Chase, what a contested grab. And that wouldn't even be his best catch. Jamar Chase, oh my God. Oh my God, Jamar Chase is going crazy. And the Ravens would continue to put up a fight, but it was just not enough. Oh my God, he just made that throw. I don't know what was better, the throw or the catch and the touchdown. Jamar is going off. Just these series of plays really demonstrated how far Jamar Chase has come from a zero overall all the way up to a 99 overall essentially okay jamar one more touchdown should do it to him and so i threw it to jamar oh my god what a catch i threw it once more to jamar oh jamar chase come on get in the end zone so easy easy score it just wouldn't be enough for the baltimore ravens to keep up with jamar chase in the cincinnati Bengals. 55 to 37 jamar would finish with 297 yards and four touchdowns if this doesn't show how far jamar chase has come he had 300 yards today. And in case you wondered, this would give us 450 points. But I mean, we really didn't need that much. Let's be real. Okay, we're going to max out his acceleration. Max out his agility. Max out his change of direction. Break tackle. And we put the remaining points to max out medium route running. He's a 99 overall. We have done it. Jamar Chase has gone from a 12 overall, the lowest you can be in Madden, to a 99 overall. Look at him, man. It's so beautiful. Not only was getting Jamar Chase to a 99 overall the only beautiful thing but also justin jefferson's dream team have you ever wondered what justin jefferson's favorite players would look like on a team together well i built my ultimate team based around justin jefferson's favorite players so if you want to see that click right here it was a banger trust me jamar chase is in it so if you like jamar chase you'll lo you'll love this video